Greetings to you and welcome to Minipun Tutorials. Hope you are doing well. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to actually fix the common and recurrent problem in Microsoft Office. Okay, regardless of whichever version of Excel, sorry, Office that you are using, whether Office 365 or the older versions, you sometimes encounter this particular problem, which is um, Office or is unable to upload or download your changes simply because your cached credentials have expired. In other words, what they are trying to say is that it could be that you are using Office, like, I mean, you are using any product of Office. Maybe you are using PowerPoint, you are using Excel, you are using uh, Word. They are telling you that the changes that you are trying to apply to your Word document, your Excel or PowerPoint, the changes cannot be applied. So you, in other words, you cannot just edit the document anymore simply because your cached credentials, in other words, your login credentials have expired. And you like, wait a minute. I'm probably not using a free product. I probably bought my Office 365 or whatever or version of X or Office that I'm using. And why are you telling me my credentials have expired? In my opinion, it's just they're just trying to tell you that, you know, I suppose for security reasons, from time to time you are supposed to change your credentials. That is what I'm assuming you know, or per office, Microsoft Office's policies, that is how it is, maybe. So when that happens, some people say it's a problem of I is it I was dry I was about to say iCloud. It's a problem of OneDrive, you know. But what I did for it to work for me was to actually reinitiate my password. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay in just a few minutes so let's head on to the computer and i'm and i'll show you how to actually fix the problem uh, we are unable to um download or upload your changes simply because your cached credentials have expired all right so this is how the problem is okay i think i've talked a lot but now let me show you uh, before we actually fix the problem this is these are the kind of errors that i'm talking about these errors could occur on your computer <laughs> what am i saying they could occur in word they could occur in powerpoint they could occur in excel whatever in the product of microsoft um office you know so to fix the problem this is how i usually do it okay right here i have this word document i've already fixed the problem so that's why you cannot see it here okay but the problem as i'm telling you is this your we cannot apply your changes or we cannot download or upload your changes simply because your cache credentials have expired so how do we fix the problem i don't fix the problem on word directly okay because what i do is that i simply change my credentials so i simply go to let's say outlook.com okay i'll just go to outlook because so i can log into my microsoft office account right so i just go to outlook sign in for instance just open Outlook Office 365, for instance, or whatever. Out, just go to Outlook.com. Go to Outlook.com. Outlook. Dot. Com. All right, and then hit enter. Now, when it brings you here, you simply click on sign in make sure you put in your your email 
your Outlook email or whatever email that you used to create your Microsoft account. Okay. So you type in that. It's often, let's say, Eric or you or whatever, your name, something, you know, uh, you know your Outlook account, right, at Outlook.com. So you put the email, you know, Outlook.com. Okay, and then you just click on Next. You type in your password. So usually, um when you get to this stage normally because i've already fixed the problem if not i would have had something like reinitiate password or something like that you know so because if really your credentials have expired and you try to log in with the same credentials it's not gonna work you know so when you just come to outlook.com you could just say that your password has expired Okay, you could do that. That is the simplest way, you know. So just say password has expired. And now they'll ask you to put an email for them to send you a code or whatever for you to be able to, what, to log in. So if I say my password has expired, then I just click here. You know, because there's always a recover email that you always put. So you make sure you type the same recover email here. Okay. Your recover email is the email that you kept when you were creating your Outlook account as a recover email. It's not your main Outlook account, right? Email. So I've kept my recover email and I just say get code. Now this code will be sent to me. So I have to open, log into my recover email. For instance, I'm using my Gmail account for my, as my recover email. So after entering the code, I just click on next. And they are now asking me for my new password. So I'm just going to type my new password and repeat it to confirm. So I'm going to type the same thing here. Let's see what happens. It's saying it's still my old password anyway, because I'm just trying to make the tutorial. So I'll try something different. Click on next. Okay. And now you have successfully updated your, what, your password. Now you can click on sign in. Now you type your email, your Outlook email, you click on next, enter your new password. Perfect. If you would like to stay signed in, then you say yes. Preferably, you just say yes. Okay. And after you are you have changed your password, just close Word, restart Word. By the time you restart Word, you realize that that error will go. Okay. That particular error will just disappear. 
thank you so much for watching and um, i hope this helped please remember to subscribe and see you in the next one bye bye